भैया मैं अभी खुद से बात कर रहा हूँ तब डरना मत ठीक है हाय गाइस ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन हंड्रेड पीपल इंक्लूडिंग फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एंड रैंडम पीपल अक्रॉस मुंबई हैव टोल्ड मी दैट दे थिंक आई लुक लाइक मिस्टर नसरुद्दीन शाह लाइक देर वुड बी अ रैंडम आंटी इन द लिफ्ट वुड बी लाइक आई रियली थिंक यू लुक लाइक द यंगर वर्जन ऑफ नसरुद्दीन शाह आई मीन या आई नो लाइक रैंडम आई गुड पॉप इमेज ऑफ हेम एंड मी Do you guys think I look like him? Cause I really didn't, and I, I I still don't. Like I think maybe a little bit now, but I don't. So the why for this video is that everyone thinks I look like him. I actually want to hear Mr. Nasruddin Nasruddin Shah say it from himself. So I had to figure a way out to go and meet him. And in that process, I made a video where I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can meet any celebrity. Like really, if. You have the intent and you have the will. I'm going to teach you in this video how you can meet any celebrity. And at the end of the video, I'm going to also give you my feedback from my mistakes that I made and what I could have done better. I think you guys are going to enjoy it as well. This footage is from the 6th of August, 2019. It's the day I check off the first item of my bucket list, and I did end up meeting him. So uh, this video is going to be covering the why. of why i met nasudin shah which i just told you and the how i met him and how you can meet anyone famous so so yes i decided to go meet him and here's how it went मैं अभी खुद से बात कर रहा तब डरना मत वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूँ राइट थिंक दिस इज शुड बी गुड कूल सो आई एम गोइंग फॉर अ प्ले इन विच नसरुद्दीन शाह इज एक्टिंग Hopefully today I'll be able to have a nice conversation with Nasruddin Shah and um, maybe hear from him what he thinks if I look like him or don't look like him, right? And what I'm going to talk about in this video is how you can meet anyone famous. I have somehow I've managed to do this, and I was just reminiscing on this, and I came down with like the three to four main things that I look at. So the first thing is intent. Like, why do you even want to meet them? Um, do you have a good enough reason? Ali what do you have to provide to them if you do something along the lines of i wanted to meet you because i look like you and he's going to be shocked right or for example i have this opportunity for you or i have this for you or that for you have some intent that they can relate to as well and would have a reason to give you time how can you reach out to them so there are many ways of actually reaching out to them a simple email works best if it's someone in the business world that you want to get in touch with literally a simple email will work really 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 well and this is where your networking skills and your ability to stay in touch with people that you uh, you know connected with earlier really comes in handy so for example um, his name is dharam veer chohan he is the founder of uh, this thing zostel if you heard of it it's a very big hostel brand uh, one of the main competitors or still is for oyo rooms so it's um the oyo rooms for hostels now this guy is brilliant i i i randomly saw a linkedin uh, post by him which was really philosophical and i really connected with him so i just left him a message saying hey i think what you're doing is very interesting would love to talk more about this because uh, my interests are along the same lines and i'm working on this startup which i think you could help me with um and 
since then uh, he reached out he he reached back to me we had a conversation on chat then on call and then multiple times and we're still in touch so even if i'm whatsapp message him today we're good friends and we had like a hour to hour long conversation after that so um he's a good friend now he's helped me connect with multiple people as well and why that is is because i maintain that relationship with him so a simple email uh, is a great example of being able to communicate but again you have to provide that connection point and that value that proves that you are unique in some way and worth his time or her time to be able to uh, you know attract their attention so intent is one second is how do you reach out to them um so email is one of those ways second would be find common connections you have no idea if you have the right intent and uh um, you know you, you have to be really handy in such ways you need to know and care about other people as well to figure out where they work what they do who they're in touch with and uh um, you need to know your connections well enough to be able to filter whether someone will be able to help you or not so for example with nasiruddin shah i have remembered that i'll give you three things so my friend seher uh she has two ways right first she's worked for the play uh, mughlai azam which is very famous so the founder of that is super like well connected and a brilliant director and a producer as well so um i reach out to her and and the other thing is she also has a friend who is uh, mr nasiruddin shah's do- uh, niece i think so i reach out to her right and she helped me find a connection and put the word out um second i i know a couple of people who are producers right and uh, they obviously know each other and third is right now i figured out that he's having a place so i to be honest really need, didn't want to like use any of these connections for this uh for reaching out to him because i think it's uh, uncalled for like i don't need to i can just figure out a way and have a conversation and you know pitch to him like go straight up and have a face to face conversation there's three ways that i did it so email can be one um, figuring out where they are and having a reason and like just going up and straight having a conversation with them and providing value to them is another way um three is third is like knowing your people's connections like if you are net, uh, connecting with someone know who they are connected with as well so you can possibly uh, have that network effect going on like i have some few friends who i know are uh possibly the people that can connect me to any and every person in the world like add value give them a reason to want to remember you what is unique about you what is interesting where did you add value to their life how were you standing out from the crowd of the 10000 other people that try and reach out to them so have that in consideration before actually um thinking about doing any of this Uh, because see if you don't have the right intent and you can't provide them value they're not going to remember you for shit right if you're going to be selfish and just do it for your own reasons uh, well they have no reason to be uh, wanting to remember you right similarly if you remember you have many friends and if these people uh, add value to your life you will always remember them but if they're not adding value to your life and you're just like you know doing favors to them you probably wouldn't want to remember them or wouldn't want to do those favors either right so it has to be a two way street always uh, it has to be a barter yeah so that's that
told that my meatless diet was so poor that I could not repair the bones that were broken in my foot. So I have just had an ex-radiograph taken and lo, perfectly mended bone. So beautifully white. Uh, for a hat pin, let alone a hat. You can't have a wife with a fallen horse pigs out of the like that. It might have killed her. Not her. Getting the plague across the country to San Francisco in the sweltering heat and one night stands in practically empty theaters. They wanted so much to know how it should be pronounced. They were so upset we never spoke of the title of the play. Was it to be called Pitch Malian or Pig Malayan? <laughs> oh my dear, my hair is turning. see Einstein on the 9th over here. Uh, you, we will try so. because mm -hmm. she has exams and things. She's in 12th right now. But ah, <laughs> exams. <laughs> <laughs> so are you well, uh, fond of literature? Yes, very good. Very so nice thank you, you so much. Thank you for coming. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Can we have a picture with you? Right. Right. Then I have to, you know. So as you can see, I had to cut out that video immediately because I was recording without his consent and I told him this. But um, he appreciated if I didn't record and I told him about the video and stuff. So whatever happened next is something I'm going to explain you now. Yes, I know my t-shirt did change and that's because today is another day. Well, this is exactly how I landed up in the VIP, basically the green room and where I'm in Asruddin Shah. So last, as you all saw, the play was ending and I was in the audience towards the left side. Now there were these two aunties next to me. These, these really nice to elderly women who ended up asking if I want to go meet the actor uh, and the artist how do I go and do that and she's like don't worry just go backstage and meet them right there or they end up coming on stage later on but that's not always for sure so I didn't want to take any risks so here's what I did um, I was here and Mr. Nasruddin Shah was here now to go backstage I got off went to the went to the exit and then it's extremely dark, so I have no idea what's going on over there. So I just take the risk, I go and take the stairs, which I cannot see at all, and go up. And as I go a little further and turn towards the right, I see Mr. Nasruddin Shah walking in front of me, and he has his cape on, right? So I just follow him, follow him, follow him, follow him, follow him really fast, and I'm not recording, and I'm pretending like I belong there. So the people that were crossing me, that were part of the production team, well, I just confidently walked through them. And um, as I reached Mr. Shah, so he was here, I was here, he was here, I was here. And as he got inside the door, the door shut on my face and I get to the door and I'm like... And as someone else opens the door, I can see Mr. Nasruddin Shah, he's looking at me. I'm like, hello sir, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but if I could just take two minutes of your time, I would love to discuss this one thing that's been bothering me and I think you can help me with. So, um, yeah, he's like, yeah, sure, come on in. And we ended up having this discussion and I asked him, so this is what happened. And that was my mistake. I went too early on the ask where I'm like, okay, this is what's been happening. Like hundreds of people have told me that they, th they think I look like you. And uh, I wanted to kind of hear it from you and not everyone else. So that's why I'm here today. And I don't know what he might have been thinking at that point in time. But he looks at me and I'm expecting to get the answer. He looks at me and he's like, Hmm. And he doesn't say a word. He doesn't tell me if he thinks I look like him or not. One of the mistakes I made was I didn't start by complimenting him or telling him how good I thought the show was. I probably should have started on over there and told him how much I appreciate him as an artist. Not to flatter, but just to um, show, show some genuine respect. So I'm like, oh my God. I really... Yeah, so that kind of like got to me, but then I just had a nice discussion with him about like creativity and following your passion for art. And he didn't have much time at that point, but he, but then I asked him, I would love to make a video with you talking about if you think I look like you and I think it would be amazing. And he's like, yes, but that's for another day, son. So yeah, that's how far I got. I think I succeeded to some extent, not to the full extent that I hoped for, but it was an amazing experience and I'm so happy. I... 
made the effort and did it. So the quest and the search for his opinion and his answer, which I don't know why I care about so much, but is not complete, and I am yet to get an answer from him. So there is going to be a version two for this video, and I promise you that. Crazy psychopath who thinks he looks like Nasruddin Shah, or who people think of. Oh. And then when I went to meet Miron, he was getting a little shy, so that's what we did. It's a practice. Here, come. I got you on camera. Let's go, Miron. Come on. Just say hi. I was really nervous. I wanted to break out of my shell and say hi to you. Uh, it was an amazing show. And thank you so much. Go. He's not. He doesn't care. He's not a chick. Go. Go. Three, three, two, one. Approach. Whatever it is. Hi. Just wanted to say it was really nice watching you, Miron. Hello, nice to meet you. All the best. Thank you, thank you for coming. Huh. So yeah. Miron did it. I did it. Mine was somewhat of a failure, I felt. But. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh, thank you. I I can't wait. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. I was gonna say something mean to someone else about something else like that. Say say whatever it is. I can edit out whatever I want later. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna mention how Pratik is always pushing me to go get the women, but doesn't really push me to the women. Uh -huh. Like to take me, take me to the women. Talk it, Pratik. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you should cut this out. Really.